king tide is known as the highest predicted high tide of the year in coastal communities. This is above the highest water level of high tide on a normal day. Typical tides fluctuate about four feet. Uh, with a king tide, it can fluctuate about five or six. So it adds or deducts a foot or two. In South Florida, the king tide cycles bring in the sunny day flooding concern along the coast. But it can also bring in difficulties for boaters. So as you can see, when I'm walking down my dock lines, I'm trying to keep enough slack that's going to compensate for the tide. Captain Tom Donig says damage can be done to the vessel and the dock if dock lines don't account for the king tide fluctuation. One forward and one aft in order to keep the boat from shifting. Now what that's going to do is prevent the boat from possibly getting pinched under the dock. So there are multiple things to keep in mind to protect your boat during these cycles. If you do have a boat lift as well, you just need to make sure that it is elevated that extra foot or two from your normal tide line. Over the years, king tide has become worse due to climate change. Keep in mind low tide is also lower. The return of the tide can create additional impacts. And when the tide's coming back in, if the boat's pinched underneath the dock, it can also cause it to lift to the point where water can actually get into the boat and unfortunately sink it at the dock. King tide can change the course of a typical route, so double check before you go out. The bridge clearances also change a little bit, so you want to be cautious when you're entering fixed bridges in low elevated areas. In Pompano Beach, Chelsea Ambrose, NBC6 News.